Hey there, it's James Erickson from SayHiJames.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a URL shortener using your own domain name. Hey guys, 30 videos in 30 days. Today is day number 23 and today we're talking about how to make your own domain, how to use your own domain name to make a URL shortener. And first thing you're gonna need for this is a WordPress installation on your own domain. So if you don't have a WordPress installation on your own domain, go ahead and get one. Uh, but what I'm talking about is you'll see in my blog, here's one of the posts from my blog here. If you look down here under the Amazon links, you'll see it says sayhijames.com slash Ogilvy. Now if you click on that link, it will bring up the actual Amazon page. So it's not something I've hard coded in, it's just a shortened URL that I've used and I've created using my own WordPress installation. So like I said, you're going to need your own WordPress installation. The second thing you're going to need is a copy of Pretty Link Plugin, P-R-E-T-T-Y-L-I-N-K. Names will be in the names drop down below and you'll see where I've used the plugin again. It's by Blair Williams, incredible plugin and you just go ahead and install it. You can check out his homepage at blairwilliams.com and he's got a link to Pretty Link and everything it will do uh, down at the bottom in the features. Uh, but you can go ahead and search for it in the uh, add, add additional plugins link, link in the back end of WordPress like you see here. Uh, and once you get that installed, you'll go down to Pretty Link and you'll have its own little setup here. Click on Pretty Link, it's going to bring up this homepage for the Pretty Link plugin and you can see all the links that I've made Pretty Links for. You can see over here it says here's what the name of the link is, here's how many hits I've had, here's how many unique hits I've had, and here's how many links and here's the actual, or here's the actual link, the shortened link, and here's the actual URL. So if I want to add a Pretty Link, let's say I want to add a link to the Pretty Link homepage. Uh, I'm going to go back to the WordPress homepage and I'm going to go ahead and copy the actual URL and go back and it said, if you looked uh, at the home page here, you can look and it says add a pretty link right here. I'm going to click on that. Very simple, very easy. Target URL, I will paste my WordPress link in there to the link and I'm going to rename this. Uh, pretty link will bring up a random, char random characters for you to use, but you don't have to. You can actually name it something. So I'm going to name this one pretty link and you can either add a title or description or this or, or not worry about it. Uh, there's some link options down here. You can add groups so I can have like external websites. I can have affiliate links if I want. I can make those links and I also want to track this link. Um, 307 temporary, you know, don't worry about any of that. Really it's going to be all set up for you unless you really want to use groups. And I just click create and it will say your pretty link was successfully created. It shows it here. No hits yet, but you can see the link here. So then I can just copy and paste that link elsewhere. So basically, you have a WordPress blog, you go into your plugins, add new, you do a search for pretty link, P-R-E-T-T-Y-L-I-N-K, install that plugin, you will end up with this special little control panel down at the bottom. You'll open that up, you'll come to a page like this, then you can go ahead and click add new link, and you will add the new link, and you will paste your target URL in at the top, uh, rename the pretty link if you want to or you can leave it random like that. Uh, add a title and description if you'd like and just click create and it's going to create it for you. That's about it. Uh, there is a professional pretty link pro which adds some functionality. I don't use it myself. I find that there's enough there's enough function in the actual pretty link plugin. I also use another shortening link plugin called let's see if I can find it here. It's actually called Twitter Friendly Links, which makes it you know, pretty short. There's a, some different functionality between Pretty Link and Twitter Friendly Links. Twitter Friendly Links will automatically create links of your own posts. Uh, pretty Link, uh, the free version, you have to go in and create those links. The pro version, I believe it actually creates it for you. So Twitter Friendly Links, though, you'll see that a lot of my Twitter posts say sayhijames.com slash 123 or 456 or something and those are actually self-created short links from Twitter friendly links. So, but that was an overview of Pretty Link plugin for WordPress. Now you can go out and create your own Bitly, your own tiny URL, your own clicks, uh, whatever sort of URL shortening feature you want. Very cool, very nice little touch if you're trying to brand yourself. 
Um, very nice little way to track your links, especially like affiliate links or links from a blog post that you want to keep track of. So James Erickson, 30 videos in 30 days. This was day number 23. We'll see you tomorrow. We're getting one step closer to the end of this thing. Catch you later.